Hey guys, Pentagon Gaming right here right now with another coaching session with Studi. Welcome. Hey man, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Excited about the new patch. I've played a lot of games yesterday and today and I think it's a Nar or Kaisa patch. So let's see what what you played yesterday. Agreed. It took me a bit bit of time to figure out, but yeah, most other okay, okay, okay. I think we discussed okay, I mean here it's not as important because you probably wanna keep Cog and Caitlin. But you always wanna play two of the same unit, right? We discussed it. Like last time. Oh, uh, right. So there's an opportunity to make 10, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, even here, possibly selling Caitlyn and making 10 is, is still okay. Yeah. Yeah, true, okay. So here, but just like get, it's just a good habit to have. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I definitely shouldn't. Yeah, I, t I tend to, I tend to, I tend to buy units um, and I, I should, I should probably get out of that habit. And it's, it's really important, uh, like, uh, thinking about what you're going to do during the turn, because sometimes you might want to level and put a unit in. And if you buy a pair of units, then you have to sell it. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like you, you, you want to, I'll show you. Yeah. It'll be, it'll make more sense. You don't like, you don't like branching out. It has terrible stats, but I really like it. Yeah, so here, like, so here, for example, you could have sold Ari and leveled and put something in, and then you could have bought the units after the fight. Hopefully you win. That's what I meant. Right, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it's a Kogma. Oh, it's a Kogma game. I mean, we have Spark Gunblade blue buff i don't know what more you could want yeah okay so here okay so again do you want to win rounds or you want to lose rounds or what do you want to do do you want to kill as many units as possible like what i mean i'm i'm wanting to i'm wanting to win rounds here because i i know i already have the two cog i've got items um so I, should, I should have leveled uh no 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 no, no. if you're going to reroll then no Especially with personality ticket, but you should oh, definitely that, play that, Nico over Caitlyn. Yeah, because that sniper damage. Yeah, you're right. It, like, Cog does enough damage by himself, especially, like, if he has, uh, like, hopefully Gunblade, and then you have Spark on maybe Nico for now. It feels bad, but yeah. Since you have a pair of Nikos, like, if you want to slam everything. But yeah. Because what's going to happen in, in most fights is your Mafia is going to die immediately and then snipers are going to die. So basically you're never... Oh, death cap. Interesting. You're never going to have sniper value because once your frontline dies, everything's going to like convulge around your snipers anyway. So, yeah. Um, okay, so death cap. Why did you slam death cap? That's a bit weird. So do you have any Yeah, I think it's a yeah, I think it's a Honestly, I honestly I, I sometimes I feel like if I play an AP comp and I don't have a death cap, I just instantly oh, lose. So you don't want to reroll cog. What do you say? You're not rerolling cogma. If I'm slamming a a, a death cap, is that what you mean? Yeah. Cuz by like cuz <clears throat> I mean, hopefully you know these stats or you look them up. Like I look up even during like blue buff, amazing. Because blue buff is garbage, by by the way. Like who who do you play blue buff on? It's Kogma, May, Kogma, Lilia, and Wukong. Yeah. You don't play it on Syndra. Okay, sorry, Syndra. Uh, I I don't play Syndra because she's she's just a trash unit right now. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cause. Spark is, is bis, blue buff is bis, and um, Gunblade is is almost as good as as Jewel Gauntlet, right? Mm. Like if you look at three item cog, you want you want blue buff, you want Nashers, and you want Gunblade or Jewel Gauntlet. Wait, where is it? Uh, so yeah, here we go. Yeah, Nashers, blue buff, and these two are very similar. Got it. 
Ja. Now, what do you what do you think what do you think a mistake like that like costs you like I don't I don't I don't slam the gun blade so okay. is it there's like it's a lot of mistakes actually because another thing is what the fuck is this what what is this what is this right. Bloodthirster? right so it's not just like the fact that blue buff plus gun blade are this it's the fact that you don't even you can't you can't slam anything else and yeah. the third item you want on on Kogma is Nashers. So you're not gonna like you don't want to slam anything here. So maybe here if you get like it's it's a lot of things because since you want you want uh, these three items right. Mm -hmm. You you want to get uh, these two items on Kogma. And you want to use all of your components, so it's like right. since you have six components. You can either have three full items. So six component is equal to right ah check keyboard, sorry. It's equal to three full items, right? And that's the most important thing, having three full items. Yeah. But if you can, like and you can. So like here you're slamming you're slamming bis items and at the same time you have three items. So like your item econ is just it's just gonna screw you from like I don't know what you're gonna do here, like what you wanna get from the carousel. So I already know looking at this that I wanna reroll Cogmap. So I would slam blue buff, I would slam gunblade, I would slam spark, and I would play around and I would probably get a belt. Because belt can be something like uh redemption or war mobs. Like if you get if you get another belt, it's not as bad if you get another bow. So for Nashers I would go for belt. And that's like I would already know all of this and plan all this out. So just like, I, I don't know how many times you, you played Kogma or if you play him or you don't play him, but these are like the things you should kind of either look up during your game or you should know beforehand. Okay. Because you're already putting- Is that something that you, you, is, is, yeah. is that something you kind of do with all of the comp, like all of the, sort of comps that are, are 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 meta and that you're actually playing you've already looked up all the, yes. the stats yes so i would know okay. bis for kaisa bis for nar bis for uh, well now it's it's uh, nar and kindred uh, i knew bis for yone i i know bis for cog and like i i have it open on my second monitor the whole time anyway so like i put these things in all the time just to double check but like i know most of them yeah. So here, I guess we're like we do. Oh, we didn't level. Okay, okay. But we won. So, so another thing is like you're probably gonna be mixed streaking, which is also kind of bad. Okay, so we hit Cho'gath. Perfect. So we have. So now, please tell me Cho'gath over Kate, please. You get your mythic stacks, and it's. I'm sure I do. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, and now you're now you're now you should be okay. So I guess like now the Kogma does does more, but yeah, now I'm just a little bit confused what you want to get on the carousel. Two star. Yeah. Go. So you want to go for the belt, belt for ooh. for sure. Foo, 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 foo. So it's belt for yeah. So it just. Okay, Declaw is, Declaw is actually decent as well. But it just... It just but it like, could have been... Three cost bell from Nashers. Like the, okay, so looking up at the Death Cap. Death Cap is not that terrible. It's only a little bit worse than, than, than Gunblade and Drew Gauntlet. The reason you don't want to make it is because you could have made Spark. So Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This would have been way different. Like, just would have been way better, yeah. Yeah. I think the reason why I took uh, the the cloak was because I I knew I needed to make an item if I wanted to keep streaking, yep. but I ended up losing anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yep. So, you, but you could have had three three completed items, and you could have gone for belt. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. But yeah, and we we didn't buy a wait. What? Am I okay? Am I? 
we had to, okay, yeah, we're not buying a lot, of course we're not buying a lot. Mm -hmm. So another thing with this comp, you just want a lost streak. Like, realistically, since you're not leveling, like, you didn't even have to summon anything, because most likely you're lost streaking anyway. Yeah. And it is a new patch since you get a streak bonus for two. So when I know exactly what I'm playing and I'm comfortable playing like this one cost reroll, re -roll, I will do a five streak into into rolling down and stabilizing here. Yeah, it's it's something like that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So potentially BT, which is kind of decent on on Cho anyway. And you're opting not to roll. Okay. So you, usually I, I mean, you're not yet, you're not close to anything, but yeah, usually I roll a little bit because the odds are just so much higher, but it's fine. I mean, I, this is just like a, ooh, another D-claw. That could farm you a lot of items. Or just do. magic wand would have been so nice. Wand like, maybe. Yeah, but not the, not with the death cap, but it is what it is. Wait, what? Okay, I mean, I don't think there'll be any stats on raid boss. So, Dragon Spirit is pretty good. Magic Wand is amazing with this comp. It's like really, really good. And raid boss. Oh, look at that. It's all the way down here. Yeah. So just, I, I mean, yes, I'm here to coach you. But at the same time, like, I don't have all the data. And like, you should... You should just have uh, either TFT meta or meta comps or something open and just look look stuff up. Like it's it's that easy. Like look at this. So you look at Kogma, Cho'Gath, and it's either Combat Caster or Magic Wand. And then there's yeah, that's a that's a good idea to put those two. You, you have those two units in there, and you're filtering by augments. Okay. So I don't before we did items. Now we're doing augments. Okay, that's that's really nice. And then you can do the same thing. For example, you can do Nar and Kindred, and then you see items here, and you get rid of this. You just go for craftable, and okay, yeah. that's kind of troll, but interesting. But yeah, so you can see like BT, Red Buff, Titans, and this is Morello, Blue Buff. Hodge. So like basically we have this right here. Like if you ignore if you ignore the small sample size, this is basically right. this. Yeah. So this is this and okay, obviously you want more Morello or Red Buff, so maybe Red Buff's a bit better than Morello, but it's kind of hard to have that many bows. Morello is better because it like all these are different components apart from tier. So you have like yeah, three tiers, so maybe you don't have enough tiers, but the good thing about BT Titans and Hodge is they're all different components, right? And then Merle, Merle's, am I, wait, sword, cloak, bow, armor, belt, rod, glove tier. So this is like the three Nar, Nar items plus the Kindred plus uh, Morel, for example, are all different components. So it should be relatively easy to get them. Yeah. Right. And then the same, same thing here, like, you know that you just need, you just need <clears throat> two tiers for Kogma. And everything else, like Nashers and Jeweled Gauntlet. So maybe you need an extra tier and an extra rod. But otherwise, it's kind of like different components. It's always good that it's different components. So you always want to go, like if you're going to play Kogma or Kindred, you kind of want to have a tier opener so that you can get a tier from Carousel and make blue buff. Right. So it's like your items should sort of tell you the direction you should be going. Yeah. Okay. And then this so yeah, massive emphasis on that because I, yeah, yeah, I feel like if I'm making the mistakes here, like I'm probably I'm just making them all over the place as far as so items and augments, and that's just look yeah, up, just look right? them up. Just look it up. So yeah. Like, if, if if you ever get mulch or or too healthy or any dryad stuff or gargantuan, like 
you're instantly playing this. Right? So like these are just it, yeah. completely broken augments. And then you look at augments here. Is there anything completely broken? Too much candy is probably the most broken for this. So you want too much candy, component buffet is nice, I guess. And then Dragon Spirit on 2 1 is really, really, really good. And then, yeah, so maybe long shot is okay ish. Oh, wait, we're looking at, okay, so this is 4.66. So anything under under that is good. So yeah, long, long shot, treasures, yeah. So like all these are good. And then with this. Is there a reason why Dragon Spirit is so good in, on, in that comp? Okay, because you, you get a free D claw, right? And typically yeah. you, you three star your uh, Cho'Gath. Uh huh. So oh, three star okay. Cho'Gath so has just... a lot of HP and he heals a lot. And, Got it. And it's probably still bugged. Which means if you slam a Gunblade on Kogma and Kogma heals Cho'Gath, it counts, it counts into this thing. Uh, Every time you heal, it counts with Dragon's, Dragon's Claw. Yeah. So they just it just yeah so they just bug or I don't know I don't know why they but it's it's not just a dragon's claw it's the champion holding dragon's claw any sort of healing counts right yeah. you're 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 three starring a massive tank yep. super early yeah got it so like Cho'Gath has like two to three k HP and then you add in mythics and stuff so Cho'Gath has a lot of HP so then every tick is I think a few percent I think it's five percent or something. Or two, I don't know, like every tick is, is several hundred HP. So you kind of get your components relatively quickly. And Declaw is one of Cho'Gath's best items because he wants life regen anyway. Right? You slam Declaw anyway. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. But, yeah, uh, this is just, just the raid boss is just complete bait. So, but it's, yeah, you, you got to look, look these stats up and, and know these things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice that that little strategy putting two 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 units in so that it filters by. Because usually there's just yeah, like that just main, makes sense. Two main carries. Yeah. Ouch! Oh, you could have sold Nico. Okay. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, I guess it's TGs. I don't know here. Oh, what? What do you want to do with tears? Shojin and wait. Okay, that's uh, uh, okay. So I guess yeah, you're just you're just guessing items now. I assume. Yep. Because that's that's uh one of Cox. Not the worst, but like I mean, obviously, if you put like uh, I don't know, death plate on him or mm. or. Uh, Stone plate, it's not good, but it's it's definitely not a, a good offense item for Kong. Right. So here I think it was just TG on on Nico. And you could have made Jewel Gauntlet, but okay, so at least you have both for Nashers now, unless you slam unless you slam shit. Oh no, oh no. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, my bad. You can't make Nashers because you already have items there. So we're slow, slow rolling, yep. But this comp isn't even that good anymore, honestly. Like, I barely top four, four with it when I play it in a really good spot and as well as it can be played. Okay, I mean, what is this? Seriously? Uh, uh, just, uh. Sorry, what? Like, why are you guys slamming Zephyrs? What the fuck? Like, when are you supposed to put the Zephyr on someone? Right. That's a question. Yeah. No, I mean no. It's 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 right before the battle starts. Yeah. So you know exactly what you're Zephyr. Exactly, and, and it's like you scout the whole fucking lobby. Everyone has a Zephyr slam. Like, come on. <laughs> and now it's like okay, so now you scout. Okay, so you could have you could have had. Oh, you don't have that many units, I guess. But I can't. You could probably have Nico. I could have. I could have. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, I don't know. 
what I was thinking. And then you can put the Zephyr either on Cho'Gath or you can put it on Malphite or Nico. Or just, but it's funny that like everybody has the Zephyr slab already. Like, come on, guys. And you said you played, like you played before Zephyr became a support item, right? Yeah. So you must be familiar with like uh, reusing Zephyrs and abusing Zephyrs from like previous sets. Yeah. For sure, I don't. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, 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 small, small, uh, okay. So whenever you upgrade anything, you want to keep a bench space open on creeps if you can, so that if you mm -hmm. get champions, you can actually pick up champions. Alternatively, what you can do since you're at 50 gold, you shouldn't pick up any of the gray orbs because they could be champions. Yeah. Oh, is that what you're gonna do? Oh my God, genius. I'm trying to get... There we go. Okay, okay, well played. Well, perfect, okay. Nice. Oh, oh that always hurts. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, now we need more front line. He just had to do a front line. That's, that's sneaky. Oh, what, what? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, three star children okay. into this. Although, two star. Oh, two star show. Okay, just BM that guy. You're uh, behemoth crown, I guess. Yeah, I went with that. I mean, it makes sense. Like, since because of it. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay. Oh yeah, that's. I was like, okay, in this spot, this is like time when. Cogma's strong, so maybe okay. I can go for it. And I just—it's just so—it's just so dumb. Okay, it's interesting. I'm just checking. Oh, there was an Alawi. That was an Alawi. Yep. So that's minor mistake. What is a six unit here? It's always Alawi. So you should have sold the care yeah. about the Alawi, because now you're putting in a Tom Kench that does okay, literally nothing. nothing. Yeah. Well, yep. Allow, Allow it gives you Arcanist and Ghostly. That's why she's really good here. But yeah, I guess, I guess balls. Okay, so like, I guess the big, biggest thing is items and augments, just not choosing the right ones. Yeah, so... Just if, need to play stats if, every time. If you had better, like, <laughs> if instead of uh, uh, what is it called behemoth or like what is it uh, raid boss yeah if, if instead of raid boss you had magic wand and instead of okay I like that I like that you had uh, Vis on Kogma and you could have had a better items on Cho'Gath as well yeah I mean I, I don't mind the, the first augment pick but the second augment was kind of what would grief your game, and now it's now it's a little dangerous. But maybe you'll be fine. Let's find out. Oh, oh, sneaky, sneaky, nice. You got it. You got it. So you got Nashers. Nice. So now you have basically this. I mean, death cap is the third best item, but it's it's, it's okay. So here it's level for Bard. It's definitely level for Bard. Okay, nice, nice. So typically you wouldn't do this, but because you have the egg and you need to hatch, then you have to do it. Yeah. So with five Mythic, you should be okay. Never mind. It's Kaisa. Oh, it's Kaisa two. Oh crap. Oh, there you go. Okay, so uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why are we not rolling? Uh, I think I lost to that, and then I just was like, okay, I need to need to get. I need to get. I need to get this this Tom Kench too. I need to try to roll to like get everybody because if I do cash this egg out, I'm probably okay. So just how can I get as strong as possible? Okay. Um, that's what I, that's I think what I'm thinking right now. I, it's, it's it's like so 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 minor. 
Because your next <clears throat> next biggest spike is going eight, putting in Nautilus over Bard and putting in Illawi. Because Illawi will give you everything, right? She'll give you Arcanist, Ghostly, and Warden. So like right. the, the spike of the comp is getting to eight. So this comp technically, yeah, you, you want to play it on, on four. You try to get as many three stars as possible. Then five, you finish rolling. Then six, you add Illawi. Then seven, you take Illawi out and put in two, two more mythics. And then eight, you can put Illawi back in. And then nine, you take Illawi back out and play seven mythic. Mm. So like the main, the main spikes are on six when you put Illawi in and then on eight when you put Illawi in like again and you have and you have five mythic. So mm. yeah, I guess you don't know the, the spikes of the comp because like here, Tom Kench 2 doesn't really do much. And Nico 3 is irrelevant. You don't have any items for her. So I wouldn't even bother holding on to her earlier. So you, you, you lost a bunch of Econ. Yeah, I think I think what I was thinking was I sort of regretted the, the egg choice. <laughs> and so I was like, oh man, if like, yeah, it just, um, yeah, it's just, it's just bad playing. You got to go with it. Like, well. I mean, sometimes I get tilted, but I, I mean, yes, I, I forfeited a game today. I'm not too proud of that, but yeah. Oh, what? What? You didn't sell to make ten? Okay. So it's TJ Nico. What are we even rerolling for? Okay, so you have. Okay, my fight. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I shouldn't advocate that that you should FF, <laughs> even though I did today. But yeah, you should always. Always. Well, it definitely didn't. It wasn't. I mean, it wasn't gonna FF. Just that I was like, man, if I don't hatch this egg, it's an eight. So uh, I need to, try, you know, try to do everything yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, 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 you're playing. Um, so here you're selling Bard and Orn to make ten. I don't even know why you're holding on to Bard. Bard does absolutely nothing. Yeah. So if you're gonna play Bard, where do you think you should play him? By the way. Oh, you found. Oh, you got it's a free way. What? It's just as a trade bot, really. Why is Aatrox not in? Like, pay attention, bro. Okay, so you got a free way, right? For three turns. Uh -huh. And and then you got an Aatrox that's ghostly and bruiser. You don't need a freaking bard. So it's like these little things. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, do you, do you see it now? Will you recognize it? Oh, and you can duplicate Nico. Make sure you duplicate Nico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you, if you played Aatrox, you'd have a bruiser and you'd have ghostly. Yeah. So every little, like, that's what we, I think we discussed last time, right? Like, every... Augment advantage you can you can eke out every encounter advantage you can eke out. That just it's placements. It's because like maybe these players don't pay that much attention either. So it just it just uh, free LP for you. And why are yeah. you rolling? Why are you, you get her next turn anyway? <laughs> <laughs> you cash out the egg for you cash out the egg anyway, and you will get her next anyway. But okay. Let's see if they fix the bug, at least. Okay, nice, nice. So let's see the cash out. So, important question. What is the unit we're adding? Since there's a very high chance we're getting a force of nature, a, a tactician's crown. I mean, it's, it's a Nautilus for sure. Okay. So what I'm hinting at is, um, so or do you mean that you, do you mean, I mean this like sort of, it's kind of like an eight spike so it's if you hadn't rolled so okay so like here there, there's nothing and then it's like okay so nothing and then there's Nico okay never mind there's really nothing but like you should always try to keep in mind what you want to add so like keep it on your bench I think we discussed it before. like have it ready on your bench 
so that you have the, the unit you're going to add. Mm. So it's, oh my god, it's mythic. Let's go. So now it would have been nice to have another mythic, but hopefully it'll come along. Oh, and you even have space on Caitlyn. Nice. Nice. Okay, so what do we do now? Yeah, I, I, just, I got oh. so dizzy here. I, did, I thought that that was like a pretty, pretty weak. So you definitely Egg. put it. What? What? You have two star Alessandra. That's going to farm you infinite items. Yeah. You can put Mythic on two star Alessandra, and she will farm you infinite items. That doesn't seem so bad to me. And you can level up for Rakan or something. But let's see what you do. You do level up. I always I always find I feel like I always find Lissandra to be super underwhelming. I don't I know. Mean, two star Lissandra with, with seven mythic. Like she'll get the job done. And the thing about Liss is she's quite positioning dependent. So have they fixed the bug? What is this? They didn't fix... Uh, you're supposed to get a second Diana, but they, I guess they didn't fix the bug. So Lilia, uh-huh. Okay, I'm glad you see that now. I don't even know. I don't know. I've never been in this spot because I never would have picked the Behemoth. The, the raid boss thing. So I, I can't confidently tell you that it's, that it's seven mythic instead of, but okay. So raid boss is garbage. So you shouldn't have even picked raid boss in the first place. And then you could have played mythic Lissandra and you would have seven mythic instead of, and you would just play, you would just play Lilia instead of Orn. Yeah. And it's always Lilia instead of Bard. Because Lilia gives you Invoker. But these guys, I don't know, they take position so that you snipe everything every time. Yeah, Lilia over Bard. There we go. Okay, okay, yeah, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> BT? Okay, that's fine too. So we're gonna use the technician's crown, right? on Tom Kench or something. Maybe not. You do know that it gives stats now, right? Yeah. I think I just didn't want to sell the Orn because maybe he's my nine. Okay, I respect that. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's good that you're holding on to a unit that you're gonna play on nine. Like it, like it. So then, okay, okay. Why the hell did you put the force of uh, the tactician's crown on him in the first place then? Instead of like I think I think I mean yeah I mean that's that's a, that's a that's a great question. <laughs> so I like the fact that you're keeping him for nine, but if he's the one that's most likely to be benched until nine, then the item should be on someone else. Yeah. It should definitely go on a core. Yeah, you're totally right. Uh, it shouldn't go on, on like a core core because Nico's three star. So maybe if you find TG for her, it would be really good. So you can either put it on Nico or, or Tom Kench. Yeah. Because there's, there's arguments for both. Like Nico's probably like your highest, highest average placement. And okay, wow. Okay, so... Wait, can you level up to Carousel? Yeah, I don't know if you should have made that, to be honest. 
You don't know if I should made the should have made the Orn. Because if you lose here, you won't have uh -huh. gold to level up. If I'm doing the math right, it's gonna. Oh, okay. I'm not doing the math right. You, yeah, my bad. You get. Nah, 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 it's fine. Ignore, ignore, ignore. I mean, I wasn't even. I mean, I wasn't even thinking about something like that though. <laughs> You're 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 two levels higher than me right now. <laughs> okay, so like, it's sixty to level after carousel, but you'll get you'll get something, so you will be able to level and play the orn. But that's something I keep in mind: is after carousel, I want to go nine. I want to add a unit. Will I have enough gold to actually level up? So like, by uh -huh. like if you made this two star orn and then you couldn't level up after carousel anyway, then you'd have to like you'd either have to yeah. sell him. Doesn't or, matter. Yeah. So it's just like. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the, that's kind and of I a barely, good, yeah. hard process. So what is it here? Please, please. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, look at the carousel for a little bit longer. So in my eyes, I see Dryad. And it gives you some AP, it gives you some HP. I think it's decent on Eco. No? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I was thinking I don't have any anti-heal, so I might as well pick it up. That's, I mean, okay. I don't know. that. So, I wasn't even looking at Triad, but it, it just the, the stats are so trivial, right? 15 AP and 150 health. But, I mean, it stacks up, like, if you win a round or two rounds, like, it stacks up relatively quickly. And Nico has, like, shit, shit tons of... Of HP already, and why don't you want Sunfire? Why don't I want Sunfire? I mean, Cho'Gath wounds already. Yep. Okay, so actually, actually, okay, on on Uder, it's actually decent because he runs around. But like, if you if you could get uh, Morello or um, uh, Rapid Fire, not Rapid Fire, Red Buff. For Lily, it would be amazing because she just hits like half of the board. Right. Sun Sunfire, it does it, like it doesn't do as much. But I guess these are these are minor things. Okay. Okay. But this is. I got sucked here because the it the like him becoming raid boss kind of trolled me. Um, oh my god! You positioned. Uh, Why did you position like this? What did you say? Why did you position like this? I don't know. I should have had the should have had Cho'Gath and and uh, Udir on the left side covering. Okay, you should have scouted. That's for sure. But at uh, least at least you have Orn next to Nico. And dude, so she gives. Yeah. So he gives her an item. So I'm very happy yeah. about that. And probably should have Udir on Kaisa side. Yeah, if if you could have caught that, yeah, that would make a big difference. Because you would run back there and smack her. Yeah. Wait, there's more? Or is this just... Oh, there's nothing. Okay. No. Yeah. And wait, do you know how to... You just take the Cho'Gath out and put him back in. And then I think he becomes a raid boss again. But I don't really play this augment at all. Like, I think it's, it's a maybe takeable augment if you have... Uh, Shen or or Yorick. Like if you if you get the Shen or Yorick augment, then maybe you take Great Boss. Okay, so quick quick recap. Yeah, I mean I need to focus on like bis items, bis augments by looking them up, actually looking at the stats. Um, I should probably have. I should probably do some prep work, honestly. Um, Yep. Some of the some of the some of the meta comps. I should probably print out some of these. I mean, you these little just sheets. Print them out or just have them on on the second screen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just like it's just it's, no. It just yeah. Just it's just so easy to okay. So it's either Nar or it's leveling for for Kaisa. Possibly like this is high roll level nine, but Nar is a reroll comp. Bruiser Kaisa is good as well. I really has like high roll comp. So like. Looking at different comps, like this is this is kind of bullshit. So we look at we look at this, and then you you scroll down if you can scroll, and yeah, here it, there's a good representation. Okay, so it's these two comps are completely out of whack. So you should either be rerolling this or playing this. 
Uh, alternatively, Kane Morgana's kind of decent. Aphelios can still be played. Lux is okay-ish. And Bard is somewhere, somewhere down here, I think. Wait, Bard is, Bard is not even here. Okay, poor Bard. I think Bard might still be okay-ish. Yeah, so there's, like, yeah, you don't want to play this shit, right? So it just, so you can even look at even low play, play rate comps. So this is Diamond Plus. Obviously you want to look at higher up, but because it's just a day and a half, you can look at Diamond Plus. So you should be playing these two comps, basically. So these are your, you should always play one of these two comps. If you can't, then you play one of, one of these two. Okay. So that's just kind of- the so Just knowing those play. inside and out, like, yeah. yeah, okay. And then there's just like a bunch of, yeah, so there's, so there's Kogma, yeah, I, I got fourth list, listed today, yeah. Wait, is it? Does it even exist anymore? Where is Bard? There he is. Story, Story Weaver. Okay, okay, there he is. Hey, <laughs> for twenty-seven. All right. Nice. Probably because the 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 three cost shop odds that probably just destroyed. Oh yeah, us. the three cost shop odds, and because Kaisa plays him, so that's that's not the thing. Oh yeah. So true. I think the same the same thing with Senna. Senna's kind of well, Senna's really bad. Oh, this is even a bad version of Senna. But yeah, um, so yeah, so okay, so this is worst ink in Shadow Narsena's worst, and the standard uh, standard uh, Sena Shena comp, whatever you want to call it, it's worse. And the reason why it's worse is because of this. So now players are going to take your Elawis and they're going to take your Shens, and then they're going to try to then they're going to try to take your uh, take your Kane. And they also take your Aatrox. So like mm. what you what you play on six is is uh, four ghostly and and these two. So that that's why that's why ghostly Senna is worse because these four units are contested. Got it. Yep. And then okay, so there you go. There's Ash Amumu. Okay, maybe if you're, I, I don't know what kind of spot you'd have to be in, but yeah. Maybe you get a lot of Amumus and you have some 80 comps and you get 80 items and you get an early Ash. Um, this is, yeah, this is augment dependent. So really, it's just Nar or Kindred. Uh, Nar or Kaisa. Mm. Nar, Kindred or, or, or Kaisa. This kind of does some work sometimes, but you got a level as well. And the, the sad thing is, this comp also will try to take your canes, but. You, you're power leveling to eight, so you should you should get canes before before they they do, or even before we roll like we roll, before we roll Senna like it's gonna get get the canes later. And then there's a uh, ghostly Kaisad, so it's just it's like the same comp over and over again, right? So it's it's basically yeah, it's basically just four comps possibly, possibly this, and I don't know why Lux is is so bad. But like you don't want to be playing these comps, and then if you look here, the alternative is somehow getting to nine. Right, so getting to nine, you can play the the stronger variant of Kaisa, or you can just play Azir, or um, yeah, you can play Irelia. And then there's the Wukong, and then same thing, and then there's Faded, and then uh, yeah, it's oh you you can play four Mythic. I played four Mythic, but I. I got three star Lilia and three star Lee Sin, so that helped. And yeah, there's porcelain ash. That's that's kind of yeah, a little bit better than there. Not sure why why that is, but it is what it is. And then yeah, then there's Senna. Uh, okay, so maybe Diana Jana is still kind of okay-ish. But yeah, and then there's Aphelios, which is worse here. So yeah, so like the important thing, I don't know if I have my sticky sticky notes <laughs> so this is what i had what i had uh open last last patch so then we can update it so it's either so it's either nar and then tier two would be affilios janna and what was the third comp senna yeah and then maybe here it's something yeah i don't know 
something like oh, cog. Yeah. cog and yeah. Yeah, you said Lilia, maybe cog and like converters or something. And then wait till here, it's also there was one more thing. Oh, so Bard would be here as well. He doesn't do anything and there was one comp we missed. Oh yeah, now I know. And it's heavenly uh morgue plus uh ink. Yeah. So then I, I can send it to you too as well, so you have it. But it's just like you just look at, at what's what's meta. Oh and sorry, one more thing, uh yeah, last night. Pass nine plus okay. legendaries. So like when the game starts, you should try to play Nar uh, with Ghostly, or you get some Ghostlies and you try to play Ghostly Kaisa into Bruiser Kaisa into Legendary Kaisa, or you just play Legendaries with or without Kaisa. So it's like Kaisa is the core of everything, basically. And then mm. maybe three star affiliates can can fuck with Kaisa, but it's not that likely. And then three star Senna, three star Janna. I don't think they can fuck with Kaisa either. Uh, this comp can actually can kind of deal with Kaisa maybe a little bit. Like if you have two star Kane, two star Morgana, and two star Wukong, maybe. Yeah. And then there's just some some random comps. Yeah. So that's kind of yeah the the, the prep you should do. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't just spam games for the sake of spamming games. Without without yeah. like preparing beforehand. I mean, like what this took us five ten minutes, so we just yeah put in a little bit of effort and figure out what you want to play and how you want to play it. Is that typically like is that typically what you're doing every patch? Is like and I do you're looking like at you're you're trying to play the top four. You're trying to play the top four every day. Uh, and you like. It's all about, and then it's like items. So you want to figure out how items overlap or don't overlap. Got it. Okay. So if we have it, if we have it, I don't know where we want to like. If we have it somewhere. Right. So just like okay, so based on this, like right now it's looking like a Janna game because we have a Shojin, which is based right. on Janna, but we don't have any Jannas, so. Okay, so now, now we have a Hodge, which is really good on Nar, and we have Gargantuan Resolve, so it's insta pick this, and it's instant, like you have Gargantuans, you have a Hodge, and you have half of a BT, it's like you don't even need to scout, it's just you're going Nar. Really, it's that, it's like that. Like... And, and actually, okay, even, oh my god, it's even, you have, um, uh, what is this called, Stat, not Stat fast? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Starex. Starex gauge. So okay, so yeah, Starex is here. So Starex is kind of okay-ish. So you have BT is the best, but then you already you already have you have Titans, Hodge, and Starex. So you can just like force it right now, like build decent enough items. You and just yeah, that's like insta force. Oh wait, you have mulched. Okay, that's that's over. Mulch is yeah. I think I pick mulched here. Like mulch is even like here's gargantuan, but here's mulch. It's uh, so if this isn't like the first is first. You're doing something wrong. Yeah. So I'm glad you rolled. I'm glad you rolled. So it's always okay, yeah. but it's hodge. It's hodge. Okay. So I guess you didn't know the stats, and you didn't position. Oh no. Oh no. You could have. You could have easily just leveled here. And okay. I guess, yeah, but wait, do you check the stats? Like, what, what were you doing? So you're checking the stats, I assume. Oh, you were scouting? Uh, okay, I guess scouting is not bad, but yeah. So I just check the stats and ignore everyone else, but yeah. So I guess you just... I think it was like, I think I was thinking like, it was Nar even with Gargantuans, and so I I think I was scouting to, see, to make sure that, I don't know, other people, yeah, but, somebody didn't have like three Nars or something. No, but your spot is like, if you if you have two star nar like it's it's good enough. I just went fast fast nine with two star nar and won the game. When I had uh, like uh, I didn't, I don't know if I, I had mulch and I had a uh, dryad emblem. But here it's just unfortunate that you slammed the worst item you could have, whereas Hodge is one of the best items for him. Yeah. 
So I, yeah, that's just I guess that's the most important thing is just like finding out the stuff. Checking stuff. Yeah, checking out the checking the things. And why are we playing Kogma? Lux, Lux, Lux. Okay. Oh, okay, nice. So if we had that last last round, we would have won probably. But it should be Lux because she has a stun and because you have enough front line, so like there's more stuff walking around and like stepping on each other's toes. So you, you want to have as few units stepping on each other's toes as possible. Okay, so now it's now it's uh, Yasuo and Kiana. I still think it's Kiana over over Kendrick, but it's probably close. Um, uh, okay, your call. So Kendrick, can oh, I yeah, have like gets the Mauch buff? So it is what it is. Oh wow, we're not winning. <laughs> okay, so so now I guess we're chilling. We're just chilling. So you want blue buff Kindred, or you want Titans for Nar? Yeah, I think I got blue buff. Yeah. Okay, so that's a mistake. Why is that a mistake? Why is it a mistake to go tier? Uh -huh. Why is it a mistake to go tier? Because there's a Kindred in the shop with the half of half of Titans. Um, yeah, what can you do in the shop? No, because that like there's a Diana with a bow. You said I should go for Diana with a bow, yeah, but like I need you to figure out why. I mean, it's it's three gold plus the. Yeah, both three you gold. know, you, you already have the right, right. It's three gold, and you you already have two items on Nar. Yes. So you might as well. You gotta try to complete complete him. It's more important. Mm -hmm. So if you had uh, Morello plus something on Kindred, then obviously you go for Kindred. Kindred item. But if you had like, okay, I didn't know that that was gonna happen. But still, like. Doesn't matter, yeah. Going, going for a full item carry or full item unit is always better. So like, the game where I just went fast nine and fast ten is because I built warmogs, titans, and I think Starex or something. No, warmogs, titans, and Hodge. Warmogs, titans, Hodge. Yeah, and I put it on the R, and then like I got heavily contested, so I I and I transmuted some three costs so then i had two two star lilia so i just played warmogs titans and hodge on on two star lilia for stage three and then i put it on the sin and then like i put it on on legendary so just like having three decent ish items that you can put on one unit yes when you're real when you're playing a reroll comp you want to aim for this but like alternatively you can just build a strong strong board like strong, strong items that you can flex around. Okay. Like, sorry. Um, I don't know if that that makes like strong three. No, items, it made sense. Strong three items that you can kind of use together. Sorry, that's that's what I mean. So, like, if you have three AP carry items or three bruiser tank items, like you just put them on whoever. Right, like obviously you're you're rerolling Nar here, so that that's fine. But uh, just in general, you wanna you wanna have uh, what, what? Okay, interesting. Okay, so here I think that's a mistake. So who who scales the best with with uh, Stoneplate? Yeah, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who do you ultimately? And it's to probably. Play? I mean, it's probably not even. It's not even good to put it on the Rek'Sai because. Like, who do you want? I don't want to play? sell the Rek'Sai. You want it on on Orn, right? Orn, yeah. So, yeah. So, like, if you didn't have Yasuo, fine. But since you have two star Yasuo, that scales reasonably well with uh, the Stone Plate, and you can link. Uh, you can link the two star Yasuo with the two star Kindred. So that he gets a little bit more attack speed and she gets a shield. It's good. Like all of these little things, because like you don't want to, as you've mentioned yourself, you don't want to sell the XI. Right? 
So the yep. trick is you put you put Kindred next to Yasser, you link him, and she takes some initial aggro, and that pops the shield. Because I think I think uh, it's. Do you know what the faded bonus is? Or Yasuo, yeah. three hundred and fifty shield. Yeah, and what do you mean? I think that's yeah, and 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 the second part. Uh, there's a second part to Yasuo's faded bonus. Not just Yasuo. Oh. Um... Okay, Fairy Champs getting 20% extra HP. Like the two that are oh, Fairy Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then if you link those two and you shield them, they have more HP. Like they, they have more HP, so Kindred instead of, what is that? It's 1,500, I think. So she would have 1,800. And Yasuo would have, instead of 1,000, we would have 1,200. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Definitely the move. I don't think it's that. So, how do I how do I explain it? So first of all, stat stat wise, I think it's. I think it's. <laughs> is it um? It's the worst keepers? one. It's the worst one. It's the worst one. Look at that. Okay, really? It's, it's one of the worst ones. Yeah. So why is it bad? Why is it bad? Yeah. I mean, it's bad because you could have, you could have other things. I mean, I think keepers is. You can is, have is anything that makes you stronger, right? So this uh -huh. just means you hit a little bit faster, but. What like what is team building good? What do you think it's good? So you need to have like conditions. Probably, probably when you, like, if you have eight copies or something, or seven copies or something, and sure, sure, or you're okay. bleeding out. So if you're fucked, and you're playing for like a sixth, team building is great. Like if you're already doomed and team building kind of saves your game, great. That's one option. Another thing, you can duplicate three cost or cheaper. Right? You're playing uh -huh. two cost reroll, you're level six, 50 gold, best augment. Do you think you're gonna struggle hitting with hitting like one extra Gnar or one extra Kindred? Because what you're saying is like, oh my God, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit Gnar and I need, I need help from this augment. Right. I, I don't it's think- probably just, probably just a pick out of fear then. <laughs> like. Yeah. I don't think in this spot you need to pick team building. And and also here you definitely scout. You definitely scout. If you're contested, it's team building. If you're not contested, then it's anything that makes you stronger. Right. Yeah, okay. So Tiny Titans, amaz amazing, right? Like, isn't Tiny Titans kind of like team building? That you get like two or, extra tur two or three extra turns to find your NAR? But if you do find your NAR, you have two or three extra turns to, to get to eight and nine. Yep. And bl I don't know how, how good or bad blistering is. I don't even know. So how, blistering is, yeah, blistering is way better, of course. Blistering is way better as well. Because like, you don't have, you don't have uh, Morello, you don't have any sort of burn. So, yeah. So this, this is good. Okay. Yeah. So it's I think blistering now like best time and second best team building third best. And you need to update your wish list. Oh oh okay. Wait whoa, whoa, whoa okay what are you even playing? Oh no bro, do do we do we not know the comp? So that, that's probably kind of important as well to be aware of the comp. So it's Nar and Kindred, right? 
that's like the the base and why it's so strong is because you can play Aatrox and Shen and then you play Rek'Sai and Ornn and then you then you like top it off with Elawi and Kane. Mm. And I didn't come up with this. Like I know this off by heart. Yeah. So I and that's I guess that's that's the, the trap of like lower eel that you just don't know the most optimal way to play the comp. So I, I don't know if I wrote that to you or someone someone else asked for some coaching. I yeah, someone else asked about coaching. So like the way you play TFT or the way you kind of like I mean yes you can play full flex, but what you typically want to do is you wanna um like flex force. So it's just like you decide, okay, in this game I'm forcing NAR. Next, like last game, you're forcing Kong. This game, you're forcing Nar. Next game, we'll see what you're forcing. But you kind of know what the comps are, and you just decide, okay, so this game, I'm forcing this comp. Mm. So, like, the Aatrox is really good. The Shen is really good. Uh, Senna and, and Kai'Sa. Like, why are we playing? Like, yeah. what are we even rolling for, right? It just, like, it just hurt so much. You just spent a bunch of gold, and you're not even putting in the ribbon. You're not even putting the ribbon for it. Ah, ribbon for for HP on everybody as instead of AP, which I mean now doesn't need AP. And we okay, so this is just a disaster, but okay. So what what should have like what you should be doing here on this turn is you should be rolling for possibly I mean, okay, you already have that, so <laughs> if you don't hit that, then yeah, I mean, I, I mean, definitely, I missed it. I missed a two-star Shanna, two tops, two-star Aatrox. Yeah, so um, like something like this. Ideally, you hit Orn. If you don't hit Orn, you don't hit Orn. Um, you could have played the Kaisa. Like Kaisa, just that broken. You just play her anywhere. But it's like what you want after this roll down is you want to Ghostly, to Bruiser, to Dryad, and to Warden. And you could have played Kha'Zix, for example. Kha'Zix is fine. So then every, like, everybody gets, gets a buff, right? Bruiser's whole team, Ghostly whole team, Reaper for your Kindred, that's important, and Warden for your Nar. But like, you, you got in, like, because it seems like you're rolling, but you don't even know what you're rolling for. Right? Yeah. And kind of second most important thing, you're on a pretty big streak. So you, you really want to hit two-star Nar. So you either hit most of these things upgraded or like your board is strong enough by scouting the lobby or you need like two star or two star kindred. And that's like you ask me quite often like when do I stop rolling? Well you stop rolling when you two star your nar. Two star right. or two star kindred. And you So I guess I mean I guess that that's uh, I guess that's the uh, yeah, so it's just it's just it's just knowing what I'm rolling for because yeah. the sentiment the sentiment's correct. I'm rolling to get the two star nar, and I stopped as soon as I got the two star nar. Yeah. But I could have had an infinitely stronger board. Yeah, but I just I, yeah. fate is I'm never not, played. Yeah. Fate is never played in this in this comp. Like okay, so if you if you didn't roll at all and you had this board, amazing, proud of you. You you put together. Uh, a random board and it's doing stuff and things. That's great. But since you rolled so much and you rolled past so many other better things, it feels kind of bad. Yeah. So, by the way, like this fight probably could have been the blistering strike diff since nothing is stopping Volibear from healing. Right. I mean, and two star Shen, two star Aatrox would have helped. And, and, and ghostly. To actually deal with this fucker. So you'd have blistering strikes to counter his healing, and you have ghostly to uh, amplify your damage. That's how you take take down like these unkillable things on stage three. Right, and I'm not even using team builder. I haven't used, even used it at all. I mean, everybody laughs. I probably at could have at least. I could have just at least saved the gold if I would have just used that team builder on Nar. <laughs> oh, you mean the the duplicator? Yeah, that's also an option. That's how you use it. Yeah, you could have just duplicated enough roll at all. 
I meant the team builder, like team builder, team, team. Wait, 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 why are we? Okay, 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 okay. We hit, but like, again, this. No, stop. You just fucking lost. God damn it. So, after you lose and you're at 100 HP and you have 50 gold, like, you don't need to roll this deep. Or you're, oh, you're gonna roll it. You're gonna stop at 50, right? Then it's. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know why I'm going crazy. Okay. Since. Okay, 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 okay. There's. Okay, okay, okay. But you just missed so many other things. And it's. Not. Sunfire. Okay, I, yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. I am. I'm overexcited. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, so the team planet team builder, it's really really good to use it. Even Dish Soap uses it. So ha. Even Dish Soap like he's not the best right now, but I think he's second best. So he he still uses the. Okay, this is definitely wrong. Okay, so I I freaked out, around early, but this is wrong. <laughs> Yeah, like I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm worried about. I have a hundred. I have a hundred HP. I don't. So yeah, last round rolling down to fifty is fine. But here you sell the rex eyes. Sell the rex eyes. Sell the rex eyes. Just trade for it. And you also should have just already moved the the stone plate off of the rex eye anyway. So like sell one of the rex. Oh 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 my god, oh my god, builder, builder. We're looking. We're looking at the comp. Yes yes, that's that's kind of what you should be playing. Yes. That's exactly what you should be playing. I'm glad you looked it up. Oh my god, and now you have extra ghost, please. And three star now, there it is. So yeah, so that's that's the this augment, right? That's really, really, really glad we have the, the team building augment. <laughs> that you do need at all. Yeah. yeah. And we're still we're still playing three faded. It's interesting. I mean, I've not really. Oh wait, here it is. Uh, huh. Three. F okay. Okay. I mean, it's not the worst. There are like six dryad, and then six ghostly, and then four ghostly. Right, like compared to three faded. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's better than than. It's not a plus delta trait. At least, at least we have that. Like your your board is not worse off by playing three faded. <laughs> I think it's martyr here. It's either jeweled or martyr. It's never crashed us since you have okay. So martyr's fine. Okay. And yeah. We should just definitely move the stone plate. So like but yeah, stone plate could have been on the asshole the whole time. And then once you two start orn you could put on orn or you could just move it on already. Yeah. And this Nara is beasted. Let's go. And you have yeah. Kate, you have Caitlyn, like you could just just play Ghostlies already. Aatrox, Caitlyn, just Ghostlies are so much stronger. Ah, uh, whenever I get on the call with you, I always, I just I always make you more mistakes than I even could ever imagine. But it's just like looking this shit up. You just have to look it up, and like once you know it, it's it's obvious. Yeah. But ima like, imagine how much up you can climb. You can easily get to master it if you actually play like the three or four meta comps that we, we kind of agreed on. Like if if you know yeah. how to play Nar and Kaisa correctly, and occasionally flex in Aphilios or Janna, or or uh, Heavenly Morgana Kane, and then you know how to play legendaries. Like okay, so it's what one, two, three, four, five, six things. So if you know how to play these six things, like your masters in I don't know like. 30, 40 games, you can get the Masters easily. You're in Emerald now, or or Plat? Emerald, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can get the Masters, definitely. I mean, today I went like 1-1, 2-2, and 7-8 or something. 
because I was trying to play NAR and it wasn't happening and then I then like when I hit I went first and second and when I didn't hit I went seven and eighth. Yeah. So it's really bad if it's contested. Then you have to I mean I think there's definitely a definitely a problem with I mean I I I think I typically just try to play like Black's infinite. And I th oh, it's, that's probably really bad. That's why I like like the the what I called it uh, flex force. Flex force. So you flex between different concepts you're gonna force. Please, okay. Good, 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 good. And wait, what? Wait. It's, Mor it's Morello on Kindred. Yeah. If we looked at the builder. Yep. I think I actually end up putting um. Gunblade on her. Yeah, so why is Gunblade bad? You can just say, yeah, you can wait for it. If she doesn't come up, come from crabs, then you can do that. Uh, why is Gunblade bad in this case? Um, like in this comp in particular. Maybe we could we just have like infinite health. So it's like. Yes, exactly. It doesn't really matter. So like. Yes, it heals you a little bit, but you have so much health from Dryad that the amount that is healed is is relatively irrelevant. So the reason why it's really good. Wait, 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 wait we still have we still have component animal, 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 animal. I hope you noticed the animal. Yeah, they, they, oh, there's there's a Titans. There's a Titans. There you go. <laughs> There's your Titans. And I guess it's GS then. Okay. Okay. And you put the more oh more on Morganas. Wait, do we have wait. Wait, 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 wait. We didn't have what did we? We had wait. What where is going on Morganas at the point? He hits everything. Like he see Hawaii, he hit everything and it like Hawaii casting more is is more important than Morgana casting more since he does he has heal as well. But yeah. But I guess you're cutting away soon anyway. So this is this is fine. It's it's fine. But it's just like there's so many little things that are not optimized. And that's like I'm I'm close to challenger now finally because I know it's taking me longer than usual. But the people I play against, like, I have to play almost perfectly because they play almost perfectly. And why are we rolling now? Why aren't we just leveling? I don't know. So that's why we play this. You see what what she did with Nar, like how she just throw, threw him away and it wasn't even close. That's why this is good. So like your board is, is not bad, but it's like this comp has been optimized, so. You should be okay. Yeah, you should be playing the ultimate. Okay, so now I guess you stop rolling. Okay, now you stop rolling. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, good. So the reason I don't like. Uh... Can you hear me? Yep. So the reason I don't like uh, Edge of Night on Nar. I, I've tried it uh, I've tried it before and and the reason why it's not good is because he can de aggro so like since he's kind of a tank as well if he de aggros you're kind of screwed I see oh because we want to build stacks is that no, 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 or you just like first, first he's just a tank in general. Like first of all, it's the stacks, and second, it's it's uh, like kindred can die. I mean, now kindred's not likely to die, but 
Like you don't need him to de aggro most of the time. I see. Unlike someone like Kane, for example, or, or Yone, who you who you don't want to be your main tank. But like Nar is, is tanky enough, like he gets the stacks and yeah. Ma like maybe I mean, yeah, yeah, the Titans is definitely better because Oh Titans is definitely better. It gives him gives him gives him the tankiness. Regardless, obviously the armor and MR scales with the with the health and yeah. yeah. I'm I'm just thinking like maybe Edge of Night on stage five is not that bad since you have more stuff tanking. But why do we keep rolling? Why are we just not? We can just get. I think sometimes in these spots I just get scared that I'm gonna like, bottom out. But it's okay. But it's like, what are you rolling for? The only thing you can hit I'm, is Orn. It's like. I think I'm rolling for three star. Yeah, I don't know. For three star naked units, amazing. Yes, we want three star naked units. Like, uh, why are we rolling on the creep round? So, like, you, I'm pretty sure you could go nine on six two and just play the set, or just play Lissandra, or play something. Okay, that was kind of cool. Yeah. And another thing is, this is Crab Nebula, or whatever it's called. So you have infinite econ, right? Uh -huh. So there's like no excuse not going nine in this galaxy or yeah, whatever it's called, region in particular. That's Little GS, okay. Come by. Because they're very unlikely to hit three star Morgana or three star Kane on eight, and yeah. Like, imagine if you just put in like a two star Wukong for Sage. Every like everybody, your whole front front line gets uh, Omni Vamp, and Kindred gets Kindred and Morgana get AP, and that's if you just add Wukong. Or you can add a two-star Rakan or two-star Uder or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, you just kind of doomed yourself a little bit. Oh, I know what you want to add. You want to add an Azir, because Azir gets like, yeah, there's Azir. So how do we put him in now? We don't have room for him. Yeah, we we don't have room for him. Oh, and those are the three stars you're rolling for, and now you're selling them off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's like uh, you got to have a concrete plan. Like you got to know exactly what you want and why you want it. Yeah. So yeah, like the, the questions we discussed last last time. So just like, what is my biggest spike? Or like what what can make the biggest difference on my board and how do I get it? That's something you should ask yourself, right? So biggest spike yeah. here is either Wukong for Sage, Azir because he's he has infinite. Uh, Dread stacks. Yes, three star Kane, but like, what is the, the easiest thing to hit? I think the easiest thing to hit is Uder, Azir, or Wukong on nine. Right? Like, getting to nine and yep. hitting one out of three legendaries is quite likely. I think legendaries are at 10%, right? On nine. So it's quite likely that you will hit one of those legendaries. While this, like, yes, three-star Alawi is, is like a tiny spike compared to Sage, which buffs your whole team, or Azir, which, which spawns soldiers, or uh, Udir, which just, like, runs into the backline and disrupts stuff. Right. And it's yeah, like, I mean, I agreed. I spent all that gold to, like, actually do nothing. Like, yeah. to actually, no units, like, zero units like, is, is upgraded. Is any different them. than it was on 5.7? Like, no. Uh, well, I mean, actually, no. I just upgraded the Morgue and the King. That's it. No, you didn't. They were already upgraded. Oh, well, there you go. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was on. You two start on. But so that's not worth. 
you spent, I don't fucking know, like 100 gold or something to two-star Orn, and your board is exactly the same on 6-7 on, on as it was on 5-7. And I probably would have natural many anyways. Yeah. Um, or like it, it's it, it's irrelevant enough. Like even Liz. Oh, this is another one. So Liz is number four. So it's Liz, Uder, uh, Wukong, or Azir. Even freaking Rakan is decent, right? Like all the legendaries do stuff. Yeah. So just any legendary. I mean Wukong in particular because of Sage being really strong is nice. So, yeah. DFTG and sure, Guardbreaker, why not? So, like, ah, uh, these, these, wait, was it three star? No, it wasn't three stars. In, it wasn't three star anything, yeah. So, these are relatively close. So, that's, yeah, if you. If you actually had gone nine and added, I think Wukong or anything else, you could have won here easily. Yeah. Damn. But second place, wow, that's pretty cool. Considering the number of mistakes you made, it could have been like a, I don't know, a, a negative, negative something place. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. I mean, it could. It was. It was probably just because of mulch, which is so good. Yeah, like mulch is OP, but Damn. This, this could have been like a zero or like a negative third or something, like way, way, way more places high. But it's fine. It's fine. You're learning. Um, any anything you wanna you wanna point out? I mean, it's just it's just knowing what I'm rolling down for and yeah, knowing your like know what items are good and. So the, the way it works is items lead to comp. Comp leads to optimized comp, like knowing the comp, right? And then it leads to biggest spike of the comp. And actually what you can do, and what's really easy because it's like noob friendly. So we have Dryad Nar and we have early game. Level six, you want to play these guys, right? You have, uh, what is this? We have, so we have three ghostly and three. Okay, that's kind of dumb. I don't know why you want to play three ghostly, but I guess you get, yeah. I mean, I, I would probably play Kazakhs over the Shen, but apparently this has a high round win rate. And then on seven, yeah, this is insane because you have, you have three ghostly and you have, uh, and you have four Dryad, yeah, four Dryad, four Ghostly, two Warden, yeah, that's the strongest you can have if you have a Dryad Spat. If you don't have a Dryad Spat, you're playing something like this. And then on eight, you can play all of it. Four Dryad, four Ghostly, two Behemoth, two Bruiser, two Reaper. This is what you played, right? Mm -hmm. Average plays. Uh, or did you play, yeah. And then on nine, look at that. Lissandra or Azir. Oh, this is with a Spat. So even without a Spat, like, just look at this. Yeah, so you can see level eight and then level nine average place. And obviously level 10, it's gonna be completely insane. But yeah, so there's a huge, like, yeah, most people get stuck, stuck on eight with a placement of 4.33. You got stuck on eight because you stuck yourself on eight. Well, on nine, right. look at that. 30, 32% or so only a third of players get, get, get to nine and it's a way, way higher win rate. Or placement rate, yeah, and then ten is very unlikely, yeah. So it just it just kind of like shows you what you should play on on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, yeah. Got it. Okay. And then yeah, so you just know know the comp, and yeah, that's the same thing with with, with Kogma. You you didn't know about Ilawi, and here you didn't know that, that you wanted to play Ghostlies, yeah. So what do we have here? Do you, remember, do you remember what what you play this game? Um, I don't remember. Okay, do you remember what you should play on one three? Two, 
one cost units. Yes, sir. Especially because this is three, six, seven gold, eight, okay, seven gold. And if you get any gold here, oh, actually, 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 um, what is the best thing you can do here? I'm not sure if we if we touched on it on like one of the first coaching sessions of the set. What's the best thing to do here? You yeah. said. Yeah. Highest odds of getting. It's, I mean, it's. Gold. It's probably sell sell everything but the jacks and then put the put the rod on it or something. Um, I I'm, I'm not sure about jacks, but I definitely know Garen can can solo this. Maybe Jackson as well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, solo it. Oh, okay, okay. So you, okay, my bad. I spoke too soon. You you put in two one costs. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, so you're you're buying way too much front line. So it's either either Sorak or Timo. Oh, okay, okay. So I asked you what you're playing, but what should you play this game? What should I be playing this game? Yes, there's two comps you can play this game. Yeah, I mean, I already have the Ghostly start, so it could be like a Ghostly Morgana Cane because we've got the Morello. We can have the Teemo as the holder. Is that is that one of the one of the good comps? Ghostly Morgana Cane. I don't think that's one of one of the good comps. Yeah, I guess it's Heavenly Morgana Cane. It's Heavenly maybe. Morgana Cane, you have Heavenly Emblem, or it's it's Nar, since you have Dryad. So you scout, if if more than half the lobby is playing Nar, then maybe you don't play Nar. But uh -huh. I think Heavenly is completely fine. So that means, like, in this case, you could have kept, you could have kept, uh, ah, Timo's probably better, but you could have kept the um, Soraka. So idealism is, I would say, really good on Nar as well as Kane. Side of hand is side of hand is oh no 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 no. Side of hand is decent, but I think idealism would be would be good since you're playing either Nar or Kane here. So you're not slumming until you see. So okay, I thought you would. I thought you would like see that you can beat him without the Morello and not slam it, but yeah, it's fine. So yeah, heaven, heavenly, uh, heavenly Morgana came would be would be the play here. Okay, there we, there's nothing to add here. Yeah, but the cloak, Simon Cloak is good. Which armor is it? And why? Which armor is it and why? So you can look at own items. And you can look at support items. Mm. It's it's I mean it's relatively easy. It's a 50-50 and you just and you just compare. So own items. Wait, where is the and support items? So just if you can pick, why is it going back up? So if you can pick between this. For this, 411, 416, 420, 425, 427, 428, 430, so like there's half of them are, are 4.3. Here, there's a lot of shit ones. Like here, there's no shit ones, right? 
Like the worst yep. you can do is 4.41. If you get like the worst was worse. Here, you can get like one of these ones that you don't want. So just like, there's just more, more good support items than own items. It's gonna change next patch because they're adding more, more own items. But also, um, why is it support items at, at this point of point in the game? Why is it a support item? Probably because it's uh, it's not as um, focused. Like if you get get an artifact item, it, it yeah. kind of pigeonholes you. I feel like support items are just oh, exactly support items uh, keeps you flexible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> own item kind of okay. So here it's it's uh, it's Zarya's on Timo. Obviously Zarya's the best best own item, and it's and Timo's one of the best holders. So that's like you high hold. That's an open and shut case. But other like otherwise like yeah. So yeah, it's just because you can you can play it on these three. That's why it's so good because they all have an insane AP scaling. Obviously Syndra's in the back, but like Liz and Silas are in the front, and then they. They are immune for three seconds, and they, they use the AP and resistances really well. And Timo is a really good holder on stage two until you. Oh, play. yeah, you're right. I mean, when I'm watching, I don't choose Zonia, by the way. But um, I think, yeah, when I'm when I'm watching, when I'm watching players play, like I see them select Obsidian Cleaver, like insta pick, and. Cleaver, yeah, Cleaver, Cleaver's really good, but I was talking about Zonya's here. Oh no, 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 I know. What I mean, what I mean is like, it just, it just goes to show that, like, people, they're definitely looking at the stats, and I'm definitely not. Oh, Cleaver, oh, Cleaver's, I mean, it shreds and sunders, and gives you eight percent AD and AP to your whole fucking team. What? Shred and sunder, so you just put it on like a Morgana or a Timo or someone who spreads it, and so everybody's shredded and sundered. And you get eight. No, 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 I'm not I'm not saying sorry. I'm not saying that it's I didn't think it was good. I'm just saying like Yeah, like that, that, it, it that, makes that, me it makes sense to me when they're pick like they're just insta pick. Like I've yeah. seen somebody open an artifact anvil and insta pick it because or a support item and just insta pick it. And I was like, why did he do that? I just I didn't understand. It's because like it's just good. The stats are good. And look at, uh, look at that, look at that, Zonyas. Do you see the Zonyas? Do you see this? Like you're winning this fight, sort of, but then Kindred can't die, right? So like Kindred can't die. Like, but imagine if you had Zonyas as well, then at least yeah. two more units die because for three seconds, they're just standing, standing around with their dicks in their hand and Timo's burning them and they can't do anything. Wait, and why are we holding all this? Why aren't we making 20? We really care that much about a two star? Okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't care that much about a two star Shen. I would have just made 20, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, this is basic stuff. So we buy the Shen. But we don't buy the Aatrox, right? We know how Gold Mancer works, don't we? Or do we do we know how Gold Mancer works? Oh yeah. Yeah. Should have bought Aatrox at the end of the round, yeah. Yep. So I wanna know <laughs> which gold you actually farm with this thing. I don't think you farm wait, did you, did you farm any? Yeah, I've farmed like three so far, I think. Wait, what? Okay, maybe I wasn't paying, paying attention then. Okay, my bad. Oh, four game. Okay, four for this game. Okay. Okay. But still, it's not the. Because it's, it's, it's literally. It's just worse. It's the, infinite, the infinite worst worse. one. The worst one. By far. Yeah. So you, you, had, you had the best one, and you had the worst one. And you had like middle of the pack, which is actually kind of decent on all of these guys. So best best defensive AP item, best defensive AD item, and then worst item at all, like out of the whole list. Lowest pick rate, garbage item, lowest top four rate. I guess it has a high
higher win rate than gamblers play because yeah that that's just a top four item but yeah so it just stats stats and stats it's it's really that that simple so here i would have committed to heavenly morgana cane already Because the guys that are kind of wizardry and doing, doing well, oh, accomplice is best. Please tell me you pick accomplice. It's, it's one of the, the best augments in the game. No, no. That's just, that just going to make you dizzy. Yeah. Definitely learned that. I remember this game now. So it's, it's really good on 2-1, on but this, like, you just, yeah. But again, again, like, yeah, if we, if we, if we look at the stats, <laughs> if I, if I may interject with the stats. Uh, so, I don't know if I can go the leg, but yeah. So here's Accomplice. Really good. And then there's the, the Trash one. Which is actually really good on two one, but it's not that good on, on four five. Yeah. So just it's just like knowing these things. Like, there might be niche cases for niche augments, but like the the generic augments. Yeah. So we kind of just just get kind of dizzy. I mean, I, I guess I'm okay with you not rerolling Teemo items. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's also another case where, like, I probably shouldn't have chose Trash of Treasure if I knew that I, that I was just going to sit on those items, too. Yep. Well, Accomplice just gives you... Oh, my God. Accomplice also gives you 20% attack speed. Right? Yeah. Or thirty percent of attack speed. It gives you a sleight of hand bonus on top of the support items. Accomplice gloves get benefits from that armor. Yep. They 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 changed it so they all benefit off each other now. Oh. So wait, what is the augment called? I don't know what it's called. Uh, sleight of hand. Sorry, I do know. Sleight. Sleight of hand, and then if you pick accomplice, wait, what? That doesn't seem very what. It should be good of accomplice. Wait, what? Are, what? Are, how many people? Okay, ninety-two. Okay, that's that's not a big enough sample. So if we go to uh, accomplice, yeah, there you go. You see, sign of hand is strong, but accomplice is even better. Oh, I know what to do. Like pick two one, then pick three two. Oh, oh, you see that? So if you pick this and then you pick this afterwards, it's insane. Because that gives you, oh, never mind. Yeah, so that gives you more attack speed and then accomplice amplifies it even more. Yeah. And then if you could, if you could somehow get this. Yeah, that would be, that would be in, the most insane, like, glove you could get glove combination or or this one uh, lucky lucky gloves lucky gloves i think should be completely insane as well yeah i don't think okay so okay yeah eight games never mind this combination is just too crazy but yeah no, knowing that all the all of the gloves actually count as tgs you should definitely know that. So again, we're rolling for something. Two-star Teemo. And we hit two-star Teemo? Okay, okay, okay. And we're trying to... Uh, okay, I guess we can reforge that, yeah. By the way, do you like all of your own items? 
Do you know what do you say? Do you know how to, do you like your own items? Do you know how to reforge your own items? Oh yeah, you put one completed yeah. uh Ooh, yeah you do, but what was that? That was your for ghostly or I don't know if I wanna reroll spat, to be honest, but okay. I mean, I guess if you're going the Kaisa comp, you don't want spat, but it's still a bit baffling that you would be real spat. This allow me unkillable. Nice. Yeah. Do you want to do a live, live game as well today? Uh, no, that's 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 okay. I got a got a couple of things to do this morning, but. Okay. Because I was gonna like kind of just skip through this, but yeah, we will watch it then. Because yeah, so we can watch it. We can watch it properly. Uh, I mean, I feel like I, I mean, I feel like I had the. I feel like I kind of know what I need to, to focus on. So we loved and didn't roll. Okay. So maybe we should sell the Ilawi since we have another one star Ilawi and put those items on Shen and three star the Shen thoughts. Yep. Like three star Shen's never gonna die. And if you want to two star the Ilawi, um tons of stats probably. <laughs> There's no no <laughs> and the ghostly and the ghostly is here. Oh no, we could have had more ghosts. Oh, Kaisa. We win the game. We win the game. We have Kaisa. We have Kaisa. Best unit in the game. Best unit in the game. And we're not playing her. Instead, we're playing an Ari. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Kaisa is the best unit in the game. So you would just play a just play a naked Kaisa? Kaisa? Over Bard. Yes, Kaisa over Bard definitely. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So what you want to do is, since you somehow like here, if you kept the. Oh, no, 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 we're not going to have items on. Uh, so I don't really know exactly what what the play here is, but I would assume that it's four ghostly, four trick shot, or four ghostly, two trick shot. Yeah, four ghostly, two trick shot. So you play Timo, Kaisa, and ghostly units, I guess. Which is lower, lower cap than... Uh, the legendary Kaisa or Bruiser Kaisa, but it's still okay. And you got your shit sniped by Lux, so that's positioning diff. So Timo should have been in the middle. Was there anything better? Yeah, okay, you got glove. Okay, okay, okay. So I hope we put in the Kaisa. Yay, Kaisa's in. No, Kaisa's not in anymore. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand why we're playing Bard over Kaisa. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. But the, the reroll of the. <laughs> ah, oh my the, god, the, dude. And look into Ghost. Ghost is amazing, man. That I, I never would have seen that play like. So instead of getting a free plus one, we decide to use an augment to get the plus one we could have had for free. <laughs> uh. It's oh. honestly just depressing to watch, really. But why did we not want Aatrox? I guess we don't want Aatrox. So what are we even rolling for? Wait, what, 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 what? Okay. I did not see that coming. And we don't want to slam blue buff on her, or okay. Oh, I think I'm just dizzy with trash and treasure. Oh, 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 nice, 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 nice. Yes, yes. That can go on any frontline unit. It really doesn't matter. So if we can get to six ghosts, we should be fine. But you weren't picking up the Aatroxes or the Caitlyn's, unfortunately. And we 
we're still playing Barn instead of like why are we why why are we even playing these shitters? Okay, double snipers. Like wh why do we have the? Okay, so Barn is out. Good. Good, 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 good. So your cooking is a bit off, but otherwise it's it's fine. The only issue I have. What do you what do you mean by that cooking? Like that, like that you're kind of cooking a comp, but like, I don't know why we have Timo there and why we have uh, Yorick there. Like you just kind of put this comp together on the fly, right? Yeah. But like the archetype is six ghostly plus, like imagine if you just had those items on Kai'Sa. Like if you had two star Kai'Sa, you just left Morgana naked and you had double snipers on Kaisa, she would just melt everything. Yeah. Or if you had the Ilawi items on your three-star Shen, for example. Since you three-star the Shen, you could have... Like, if you had the three... The three... I don't know what they're, what they're called. Like, the, the little upgraded war mugs. If you had them on, on your Shen. Like, that guy's never dying. Yeah. So the, issue, the issue is you have no damage. Like Kane kind of isn't isn't the best, like like in this setup and uh, Morgana just is, is a joke. Even if you like, you don't even bother three star Morgana. She's it's just it's just a joke unit. She just she just uh. Sends yeah, I saw the three the three star Morgana like people just die with her yeah. all the time. Like all she's good for is sending out specters and uh, applying a little bit of chill. Maybe applying burn. That's that's what you have her for. Burn, chill, and specters. Oh, the Aatrox we missed 20 times is finally here. And wouldn't... Yeah, so this is a big comp thing. Wouldn't Bruiser be better than, than Arcanist? Because Bruiser, like, every... Like, you have half of your... Like, most of your comp is frontline, right? So, instead of going for Arcanist, which literally just... Gives a little bit of AP to Morgana and yeah, some of the AP guys in the front, but yeah, yeah. I think I think I, I think I go fifth here. I don't I don't think anything changes. But imagine if if you somehow put a, a lot of <clears throat> items on Silas or like if you had Silas instead instead of the Nico. Like Silas yeah. and Nico would make you stronger. Yeah, so again you're like even here at this game, okay, you can dunk your roll, they're like you're not gonna have to nine. But yeah, like trying to three star these guys isn't gonna get, get you anywhere. Especially since he has Morganas anyway. Like you should sell your Morgana now. Just look at, looking at the fact that he has a two star Morgana, you should sell your Morganas. You should make thirty here. Yeah. Cause there's like there's not like there's nothing you can do. Like I don't even know why you're holding Morganas if there's a three if there's another two star Morgana. Right. So then you could have maybe somehow gotten to nine, but probably not. Even on six two, well, maybe you could have actually if you had made thirty, so you'd be close to the forty here, and you'd be close to fifty by now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? We don't want to. We, so we don't want more ghosts. And uh, yeah, I thought about. The stun I is thought, not I bad. thought maybe some extra stun, but. But what? Yeah. It's the same shit. Over that's so good over the over the Nico. Please tell me you played over the Nico. Yeah, so the reason why you want Kane Heavenly is just because with Ghosty he doesn't have enough uh, sustain and support. Yes, let's go. Okay, so that's that's an upgrade. But I yeah. But these rolls on eight are just so tilting. Yeah. yeah. Cause we're, um, we're not really rolling for anything. I guess this game is a little bit more doomed than the last one, but still like there's nothing to roll for here. Yeah. Yeah, but this was just just not having a real carry. 
so if we look at if we look at real carries, six ghostly uh, units. Wait, what? That's interesting. What the hell? Rex side Rex. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. 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 So, if you're playing ghostly, you should be playing dryad. That's what this tells you, right? Yep. And then you should play lists because like she can destroy like if they if they have to go on them she'll just farm infinite because she'll always kill Uber right. because he's a good unit and then Zaya because I guess she ties into Kaisa and I think the issue is yeah. the issue is that it's played a lot so I guess Kaisa's delta isn't isn't, isn't as good as I thought it would be but then, yeah, you could have had eight ghosty, by the way, if you wanted. So, like, if you had eight ghosty, then it's a completely different game. Yeah. Right, because you had you had the spat, and then you got oh, then you got ghosty from, from from the augment. Yeah. Yeah. So then, yeah, there you go. There's there's uh, Kaisa and Zaya. So then, if you can if you can fit them in, like eight ghostly plus Kaisa and Zaya, for example, insane. Or Uder and Lace, or yeah, anything like that. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I I, I think there was a, a lot to, to cover and a lot to learn. Um, so I guess like like your homework. Are we gonna have a session on Monday? You have time on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. So homework for Monday is okay. So let's focus on how many comps you think you can you can realistically pilot. Like it's, Maybe two or three. Okay, so you don't want to go for six. Okay, so two or three. So then I guess just just. Uh, but they're so. I mean, th I mean, this is this, okay. this 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 is, this is fine right here. This this little list. So like Nar, you need you need Nar. Like you need to know how to play Nar. So it's it's ghosty Nar. Like it, that's bread and butter right now. And and then most likely the easiest one is Bruiser Kaisa. And then uh, I guess heavenly heavenly more plus cane and actually I think I think uh, Jana would be good yeah because technically th this goes into Kaisa legendaries slash just legendaries and this goes into AP legendaries so this kind of this is basically six six comps yeah so it's like four comps but it's actually six comps right okay so maybe like Aphelios is kind of good good to know but I guess it's not the most important but like knowing this this and the reason why we want this is because it's it's uh, AP, right? AP, yeah. So maybe maybe we can add Aphelios, but like I would prioritize them a bit a bit less. So, but if you get like if you like, the thing is, do you still have a few minutes? You said, yeah. You, okay, so um, the most important thing is if you get plus Dryad or plus Ghostly or Mulched or like knowing the um, what do we have it. Yeah. Like knowing these things, right? Mulch, two healthy, dryad, dryad, gargantuans. Or, yeah, idealism as well. There we go. There's idealism. Maybe we, we refresh it. We get a few more stats because it's. And ba boom, what? Ba boom. That's interesting. Wow. Okay. So that's new. So uh, accomplice OP baboom, over encumbered. Yeah, I understand. Pandora's kind of makes sense, but then you want yeah two healthy help us on the way switching gears idealism shopping spree best friends mulched uh, caretakers but caretakers it's only like if you hit one of those two but caretakers are still decent stationary support is good uh, slam it I don't know and where's dryad yeah dryad crest still still good. Yeah, correct. So it's just like knowing what forces you into this, right? So it's definitely much, it's definitely too healthy. 
it's definitely idealism it's definitely um gargantuans like these things that like def like force you into a comp so like yeah. I'm force awesome. flex okay like I'm... like, like okay. Uh, yeah i guess i guess i can't play should... infinite flex yeah yeah i guess we should call it homework and you should figure out like for for these comps i mean some of some of them are are obvious but some of them you, you might need to think about a little bit more it's just like okay so ghostly nar if it's plus ghostly like anything to do with dryad anything to do with two costs anything to do with ghostly or idealism or uh gargantuans we're playing this okay kaisa so obviously the best the best one for kaisa is um little buddies if you're playing bruiser kaisa and then find mm -hmm. out like what is good like if you have uh, extra hp at the start i think um I think metabolic can be decent because then you can play fortune into Kaisa, stuff like that. Diana Janna, so something like uh, road roadless traveled, which is the sage, the the sage uh, augment. Figure out whether it's yep. good or not, and like the dragon dragon augment, like fist of the dragon or something, plus one dragon mm -hmm. stuff like that. Figure out like if, if that's good. Heavenly, obviously, if you can get because last game you had plus one, so you could have played plus one ghostly. Plus one dryad or plus one heavenly, or plus one yeah. plus one faded. So like, faded Aphelios, I would say, only good with faded or. So if you have if you have plus one, and you can play faded or, which guarantees that you have seven faded, on seven, you should always play this. Have heavenly Morgan Kane. Okay, so if you have plus one heavenly, it, it might be a bit of it a bit stronger. You can do plus one heavenly, maybe plus one ghostly, so that you have like four ghosts and and six heavenly or seven heavenly and two ghosts, something like that. And then these are these are your non your non emblem or non spat comps. Yeah. Okay. So just like figuring out the like obviously yes, there might be a niche niche situation when you play Cog, niche situation when you play Bard or Senna. But like focus on yeah, so focus on I'd say these five comps. Maybe like go into go into Nar and Kaisa the most. Like those are the two most important ones. And then maybe like some sort of legendary flex. Like if you can figure out how to get to legendaries, you can either get to legendaries through through eighty or through AP. So if you can get to get to nine. So this can get you to nine, this can get you to nine. And then like okay. yeah. So just like yeah, force flex. Okay. See an augment. Okay, this game I'm forcing this. Different augment, different. Like you should know the different comps and know when to force which comp. And sometimes you can flex in between, like, like uh, one of my games, which was an easy first, and I was I was very excited about about that. Uh, where are we? I don't know where I, there I am. So this game was it? Was it this game? And that was okay. So this was. This was contested, right? I was contested, so I pushed levels. I went first because I had extra ghostlies and extra extra dryads. But then there was mm -hmm. a, another game. This this game, I think. Yeah, this game. So I, I kind of high rolled, but I, I built basically tank items or NAR, and I played NAR for a little bit. But then, then it was like heavily contested, so I just pivoted out of NAR. And I just played legendaries. So like, you can play you can play Nar in the early game, and then if it's contested, you just push levels. Got it. Yeah. So just like kind of knowing these these openers like Nar and Diana and Chana, and then like if it's contested, if if there if you don't have any extra Chanas or Dianas or or Zyras, then you just go to legendaries. With Nar, you can you can just also kind of go to legendaries. It's not as easy, but like seeing how to get. How to get to a, to a board like this? I like, guess it's insane, but I think it was a like a gold infusion or gold subscription or like or crab nebula or something. Like there was just so much extra gold. Yeah, so I could I could push levels. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then yeah, don't ff. <laughs> I went seventh, then first, then second, then I ff because I just was contested on the nar. Yeah, so I ff. Yeah. And he got six anyway after contesting me because he wasn't he wasn't in a good spot, so he shouldn't have contested me. But I just I couldn't do anything and I just rage quit. Yeah. So yeah, 
think about the games definitely like spend if, if you have extra time like spend half an hour an hour kind of looking this these things up and then start playing and knowing what you're going to play like i think we've mentioned this several times like when you play you should be looking out of your car and like reacting to what's happening rather than like like finding where where the brake pedal is or where the wheel is or where the the clutch is I, you don't have the clutch. Right. transmission yeah so just like you need to like know exactly get in the driver's seat okay so it's a kaisa game boom that's how you play kaisa it's a J jana game boom that's how you play jana and then you just run with it yeah okay. so looking, yep. for, looking forward to monday um hopefully you 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 go through these things and we can we can discuss the stats and have some games that actually re reflect you playing somewhat optimally these these cards okay yeah thank you man yeah welcome it's gonna really help okay see you monday